The Real ID card is a full frontal assault on the freedoms of Americans when they must carry a national ID card to prove that they are Americans living freely in America. That is a direct violation of the Constitution We do know that the 9-11 hijackers had multiple right. driver's licenses from five states. Fraudulent driver's licenses helped the 9-11 hijackers board planes and carry out their deadly mission. While more secure driver's licenses will help thwart terrorists, illegal immigrants, and identity thieves, but the program will put new burdens on states and on motorists. Every state will have to adopt federal guidelines and start issuing driver's licenses under the national program called Real ID. In an effort to make the country more secure, drivers' personal information would be put into a national database. Birth certificates, passports, social security cards, utility bills, the kinds of documents you will need to bring in person to your Department of Motor Vehicles to get or renew a license. Why will you need a real ID card? The federal government says you will have to have a real ID card to get on a federally regulated aircraft to enter a nuclear power plant or to enter a federal building. Yes, any federal building you'll have to show your real ID card. That means when you go to the post office to mail a letter with a 42 cent stamp on it, you will have to go through a checkpoint at the door. In the future, can you see the federal police checking you when you want to cross the borders to go from one state to the other? As you're traveling into the city, to go through a checkpoint to make sure that you are carrying your real ID card. They expect a fight between the states, the feds, and also privacy activists. The, the Real ID Act, uh, Lou, uh, actually prevents a national ID card. It is wrong. We, we do not want to participate in something that subjects our citizens to such a loss of privacy. What's a typical day going to be when you have to have a national ID card? You get up in the morning to go to work. You get ready, you get in your car, you drop your kid off to school. They are going to capture his personal biometric fingerprint and put it in data file so they can check in when he goes through the lunch line. As you drive to work, they're going to cross into the next state. You're going to have to show your ID card before you can go to work there. You get ready to go into your place of employment. You're either going to have to show your ID card or you're going to have to scan it to make sure that the you are who you say you are. On the way to work, you have to stop at your bank. The bank's going to want to see your national ID card. They're going to scan it to make sure you are who you say you are. They're going to be, of course, loading all your personal bank information on that card. You stop by the hospital or the medical office. They're going to want to see your card there. They're going to download all your medical information. On. You will not be able to go any place without having to show your national ID card. The states are going to have to create massive databases, use massive databases, and are these databases going to be secure? The track record on the security of these databases is not good. They are hacked into on a regular basis. And you want to register the criminals and the thugs and the terrorists. Well, you know, why does the terrorist need a driver's license? They can just steal the car or steal an airplane, or steal a bus, or whatever they want to do. So you're registering all the American people because you're looking for a terrorist, and all the terrorists can do is avoid the law. But we, the American people, have to obey the law. If we don't, we go to prison. will be the introduction of the notion that uh, we will be carrying our papers. You would need this piece of